Hello again Skyline fans. So I think for the modern Skylines, the R34 is my favorite. I don't know why that is. Maybe playing Gran Turismo or watching Fast and Furious. Uh, I'm not sure, but I, it's not my favorite Skyline. I prefer the uh, the older classic ones, but for the modern ones, uh, I'm a big fan. Anyway, so let's take a look at this Choro Q here. I've never seen one with this uh, plastic cover, but then it's just a cardboard base. So I'm not sure what series this came from, what collection. It says real gimmick though on it. Alright. Let's take a look here. So this is, this is a V-Spec 2 version. And that's why it has these wheels that Choroku did a pretty good job uh, mimicking. Here's a foreshortening comparison. And there's the rear view. Never mind the coaster spinning, but we'll need that later. You know, it might make some noise, so let me shut it off. Okay. So let's take a look at this guy. So the one big issue I'm, I'm seeing is the riding stance, which is common to all Choro Qs. So I'm going to remove the wheels and use putty to uh, make it ride lower. But you'll see here, it's got some good uh, details here. The fuel filler door, the door handle, the windows here are really dark. But I think they're smoked. It's hard to say. Yeah, I can see the pick there through the window. I guess maybe the gimmick is the fact that this has mirrors. Or does this hood open? I don't know, I can't... Does this hood open? I think that actually is a gap. But I can't even get a dental pick in there. We'll find out. I'm going to open this thing up. Alright, going around to the front though. Another nice thing is this thing has clear headlights. And they're not the same plastic as that plastic. So that's, I think, my first Charo Q that has uh, these clear headlights. Which is better than the modern Charo Q Zeros. All the Charo Q Zeros I have just have painted headlights. So this is pretty awesome. All right, we got an R logo, and GT is up in there as well. Okay, silver here, nice texture. It's a different texture than the main grill, although there's you know not enough black. If I had to be picky. All right, let's see, nice metallic blue. Going to the back, nice printing of the tail lights. You even have the orange inside there, the third brake light, some exhaust stuck on the bottom. Alright, the wing has some black printing on the bottom and there, alright. Yeah, you can see the motor there through the smoked plastic and a little bit of black in that NACA duct there. A little contaminant though, going on in the paint. Alright, so this is from 2001. Alright, so I'm really happy the paint hasn't cracked or anything like that. I've had newer Choro Qs that have had the paint crack, so it seems to be random really which ones crack and which don't although this is a metallic blue that might be a reason why it's withstood time a little bit better all right so let's see here take this motor out so i think i'm too lazy to uh print my own 3d wheels here you know these aren't really blank they're blanked off but which I, I naturally don't like. I prefer them to have open air holes, but I think they're close enough. I mean, they're, they're they look like the wheels. Sorry, I don't know why this tab is why this motor's taking a hard time here. That code means the fourth month of '01 is when this thing was made. All right. So I'm gonna try to do this on camera because every now and then I know there's gonna be new viewers. You might want to know how to do this stuff. So what I've learned to remove these wheels is you gotta get some vice grips. Something that really clamps onto that. And then I'm just gonna twist this wheel back and forth and then pull it at the same time. So there, that's how it comes off. Not too hard. Okay, so that's good. Now the rear one's a little tougher. First I'm going to have to start by just holding both 
and then wiggling it. Ah, but boy, that tire. Ah, it's a lot more difficult. Ah, I think I need more traction. You'll see the there's a flat spot here on the wheel, and that's to help the tire get on easier. So I'm just going to use some hand pliers here, but I'm not going to squeeze too tight because I know it's going to mar the plastic. Alright, so that one's wiggled. Now that this side of the axle, axle is exposed, I'm going to use the vice grips. how you remove the wheels without really damaging them. You can always push them back on if you want. So this tire has like a molding lip usually, so I usually put that on the inside. Pop this back on. Uh, you could use a piece of wood or something. You want to have something fill up the middle of this so you don't have to use too much putty putting it back on. I have a 3D printer so I have to print my own uh, blank motor shells. There we go. Now I'll pop this back on. Oh look, well, so this does have an engine because you, that's why that giant block is there. And now I think I wiggle it free. Let's get that dental pick. That pick is there for a reason. All right, look at that. So, eh, it's all right, I guess. I mean, it does at least it's not a sticker. Some other ones I have literally just have a flat sticker of an engine, but this one actually has some dimensionality to it. I just don't really think it's worth it, though. Well, anyways, it's definitely a gimmick, right? Uh, I'm really just happy it has side mirrors. Although, I feel like the mirrors aren't pushed in as much as they should be. Oh, I think I just corrected that one. Hmm. Okay, well... Put this thing back on. Let's find that screw. Okay, so then I have this uh, gray putty called Potafix Pro, and it's uh, a markless putty. I think it's used for like hanging stuff off walls, but it doesn't leave a mark and never hardens. And since it's a putty, you can easily adjust camber and steering, and it's just fast and easy and relatively cheap, so I recommend it. So here we have it spinning with its 164th counterpart, and it's made by Stance Hunters, if you're curious. It's a uh, relatively recent release so you might still be able to find it online eBay, Aliexpress, wherever alright here's the foreshortening view alright let's compare it to a couple other Choro cues. I'm going to have to get rid of this because the base is so big so here's another R34 but it's a racing livery Panzer Zexel from the Super GT of uh, Japan Racing Series. Uh, I have a couple other Skylines, different generations. Uh, here's a Ken Mary, and this one has some Hot Wheels wheel riders on there. Um, here's a Hakasuka. Here comes an R33. And the one I always love to show off is the uh, Silhouette Racer. And let's crowd it up with an S54. So, just like 164 scale cars, I seem to really like the Skyline uh, series of cars. And so I'm pretty much getting them all in Choro Q size now. All 
Alright, let's let this guy be on its own. Put R2D4 out here because uh, you know the Skyline is jam-packed with technology, all sorts of electronics and all that stuff, so it makes me think of a, a robot kind of. Alright, well, it's an interesting one, this one. It's uh I like the fact that it has side mirrors. And the engine detail it's a little, it's better than a sticker. I'm not sure if it's 100% necessary. But I'm glad that this toy is uh, 20 years old and the paint still looks pretty good. I've had worse case with some of those other ones I showed you. In, in particular this one, the roof. Hopefully it'll focus. This roof is all... Ah, I got it back. I was too close. You can see how... Like, it looks like an eggshell that's cracked. This one as well, even though it's silver, it's certain light, you can see all the cracking right there, right there. See? It's horrible. So this one is from 2003. This one as well from 2003. Each from different collections. But this one's a couple of years older and still looks good, so just be mindful of that, guys, that, uh... It might look great in photographs online, but uh, it might end up being cracked paint. So, all right. Well, anyways, this is a the epitome of the modern GTR for me, uh, and in particular this blue as well. I basically see this in my head when I think about a modern skyline, and so I had to have this one. All right. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.